Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an email notification in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to build out a notification that fires whenever a new contract record is created. And specifically, we are going to build out a notification that only fires if the contract type is software license, and we're gonna have that notification automatically sent to the software group. All right, now the first thing you want to do is place your cursor in the filter navigator and you want to search for notification. Next, you want to scroll down and click on notifications under the system notification menu group. Now this is going to bring you into the list of notifications that have been implemented. So if you're looking to update an existing notification, you can find it in this list and then you'll be able to modify it. If you wanna create a new notification, you wanna click on the new button. And this is the notification form that you will have to fill out. Now, the first thing you want to do is give this notification a name. Now you wanna provide a descriptive name so you can easily identify this. Now I'll call this new software contract email. Now the next thing that you need to do is select a table on which the records that will trigger this notification are stored. Now in my example, because I want this notification to fire when a new contract is created and specifically a software license type contract, I'm gonna be searching for the contract table and that is this example here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now the next thing that you'll need to do is select a category. Now the category is used to determine which category or grouping this notification is listed under in the user notification preferences. So I'll quickly scroll up to the top of my interface here and click on settings. And you can see here that there is a notifications preferences group. And essentially what this does is this allows users to create personal notifications when system events happen, like when records are updated or when records are created, for example. Now, if I scroll down, you're gonna see here, there's a bunch of different categories. So the category that you select on the new notification form is just telling ServiceNow, group that notification under one of these specific groups. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and group mine under contract management. So it's going to show up here. And this way, users will be able to opt into this notification channel if they want to. Now I'll just close out of this here and I'm going to search for contract and I'm gonna go ahead and select contract management. Now you'll notice here that active is checked on. So essentially if you want this notification to be active and to actually fire when events occur that will trigger it, you wanna make sure that this active checkbox is checked. Now, the next thing that you'll want to do, and this is really optional, is you can choose to make this notification a digestible notification. Now to do that, you wanna go ahead and check this box. And essentially what that means is that if you turn this on, when users are setting their notification preferences, again, in the system settings, they will have the option of making this notification a digest version, which means it's going to send a summary at a user defined interval instead of sending a summary every time that event takes place. Now I'll just close out of here. I'm gonna turn this off because in this use case, we're really just going to fire the notification under a specific condition. Next, I'll scroll down and you'll notice here that there's really three tabs that you want to complete. The first one is when to send the notification. The next tab is who will receive it. And then the third one is what will it contain? So we're gonna start off by filling out when to send the notification. And you'll see here that ServiceNow makes it really easy for you. So if you click into the send when field, you have three options. Send when either a record is inserted or updated, send when an event is fired, or send when triggered, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and select record inserted or updated. And it's important to note that if you want a notification to only be sent 
when a record is being created, i.e. when it's being inserted in the table for the first time, then you wanna go ahead and check this box. Now that's what we want in this use case. So I'm going to go ahead and check inserted. Now you also have the option of building out conditions. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter condition here. And specifically what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into the choose field. Now this is gonna display a list of fields from the table that we selected above. So in my case, the contract table, and I'm going to go ahead and search for the contract model field. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then I'm gonna leave my operator as is, and I'm going to search for software. And I'm going to select software license. So what this is saying is, we want this notification to fire whenever a new record is added into the contracts table, and when the contract model field is software license. So that's the specific conditions under which this particular notification should fire. Now you can go ahead and add additional conditions if you wanted to, and you can just continue to build out your conditions. You can add an or clause by clicking on this button. And once you're satisfied, you can just move on to the next section of your notification form, which is the who will receive. All right, now in the who will receive tab, you can see here that you can configure notifications to be sent either directly to specific users or groups. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have this notification sent to a group. So I'm going to click on the unlock groups button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these notifications sent to the software group. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And that's it. Now you'll also notice this users groups in fields. So if you unlock this, essentially what this would allow you to do is select a field that either contains individual users or groups. And this way you could just dynamically pass in a reference to the notification to have it sent to that specific value. Next, you wanna click on the what it will contain tab. And this is where you can come to actually build out the contents of your notification. Now, you can use existing email templates from ServiceNow by selecting an email template. And if you click on the look up using list button, you can see here that there are some available out of the box. I'm just going to use this default unsubscribe and preferences template. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in a subject line. And this is going to be the subject of your notification. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the text new software contract colon. And what's also cool is you can also pipe in values from your record dynamically if you expand the select variables menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this plus sign next to fields. And if I scroll down, this would allow me to bring in variables or values from fields on that record that triggered the notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the contract number and I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And you can see here that it's pasted it into the body. Now, if you want to incorporate this, for example, in the subject line, you just want to grab the value here, starting with the dollar sign, and you want to paste that into the subject line, for example. So you can see here, I've said new software contract, insert number. And when we look at an example of this later, you're going to see that it dynamically pipes in the contract number. Now I'm going to just leave the contract number in the body as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some text into this email notification. And you can see here that I've added some static text and I'll just make this compose box a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna delete this second contract number field here and I'm going to add in additional fields just by clicking on that field in this menu here. So you can see here contract type and I'm going to also look for the start and end date here. So I'm gonna grab my start date field now you'll notice as I keep clicking these fields, it places them exactly where the cursor was. So you wanna make sure that you place that cursor in the position you want these fields to be added. So now I'll click on start date and just below the start date, I will look for the end date. And you can see here that the values have been added. Now, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and submit this. So once I click on the submit button, 
you're going to see that it brings you back into the notifications list. And I've gone ahead and just quickly added my created field here and I'm sorting by newest to oldest. And you can see here, new software contract. And if I click on this, it's going to bring me into this record here. So now that I've saved this, I can come in here and update it as required. And you'll also notice you have this option here that says preview notification. Now, if you click on this, you can see that it's going to bring up a sample of what this notification looks like. So you can see preview records for this breakdown source. You can see here the users that would receive the notification. You can see here the subject line, including the contract number that we piped in. And you can see here the body of this notification with the content that we've dynamically piped in. Now I'll go ahead and close this. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new record. And then we're gonna look at how you can actually verify that the notification is firing correctly in the system and actually preview what it's gonna look like when an actual record is created. All right, now you can see here that I've gone ahead and I've completed a new contract record. Now, just very quickly note the contract number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. And you can see here that this record has been created. Now, in order to test your notifications, what you want to do is you want to search for Outbox and you wanna click on Outbox under the outbound group in the system mailboxes. So if I go ahead and click on this, this is going to bring up a list of the notifications that have been fired. And what you can see here is the very last record, new software contract. And if I go ahead and click on the hyperlink here, it's going to bring me into this record. So you can see here the subject, new software contract, and it piped in the contract number that we just saw. And if we come down into the body, you can see here that the body of this notification has some information that has been piped in. You're, you'll obviously notice that this is script, for example. So you can see here start date, end date, contract number, and the text that we hard-coded in the body of these notifications. So this tells me that this notification has been fired and that the recipient has received it. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can create email notifications in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Also, be sure to check out my How to Use ServiceNow playlist. I currently have over 15 in-depth ServiceNow tutorials where I show you how to perform different functions in ServiceNow as I did in this video. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.